What is going on everybody, it's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about three stocks that I'm looking to swing trade here in the month of March in 2019. And we can see the stock right here on my screen, guys. Square, ticker symbol SQ. This is the first stock that I'm personally watching and looking to swing trade. So let's just hop right into it, guys. Let's do some technical analysis here. Let's break down why I personally see potential in Square stock ticker symbol S. Q and ticker symbol SQ guys has been on my radar and I know a bunch of people in our community have been watching Square as well. So we can see here I, I have a bunch of different lines here, trend lines, drawing out resistance points and support points over the past couple of months here in terms of Square stock. And the one that we noticed that we ended up holding above was this one at about $70. And we noticed Square actually sold off a huge amount from about $85 or $83 roughly all the way down to that very support level this past week. And if we take a look here on the five-day, five-minute chart, guys, we can see exactly what I'm talking about, right? We saw an overall stock market sell-off last week. We saw Square, you know, fall from about $78 on the 4th of March all the way down to about $71 back on, what is this, the 8th of March. And that's where we ended up holding above that support level. And from there, we notice a break of pattern here on the five-day, five-minute. We notice the 50 SMA and the 180 SMA, they're no longer acting as resistance points. We're noticing a break of the candlesticks above those levels, and we're seeing a reversal pattern, right? And we all know by now that whenever the 50 SMA, this green SMA line right here, crosses above the 180 SMA, that is a bullish move on any single time frame, right? We can look at the 180. If it's happening on the 180, that's a bullish sign on the 180 on the one day, one minute, the five day, five minute, whatever time frame you're looking at, you're seeing this type of move that is a bullish move. So the fact that we're seeing this is a very good sign that we're reversing to the upside on square stock. So now that we're hopping back to the 184 hour chart, you know, we're noticing a break of the resistance here. I believe this happened today and a little bit on Friday at about $74. And of course, whenever we break a resistance point, that becomes a new support level. So really what I'm waiting for right now, guys, in terms of square stock is I want to see us hold this level at about $75 as a new support and slowly start to fill the gap back up to the next resistance, which is at about $78. So from $75 up to $78, I think this is a good area here where we can potentially capture some profit on Square as a swing trade. And we can see that offers about 5% margin of profit. And let's say we break out of that resistance, the next point we're going to be be testing here is at about 80 to 81 dollars which would give square about an eight to nine percent margin of profit but before we do get to this first resistance guys we're going to want to see a break out of this 50 sma which is acting a, as a resistance right now and it's been acting as a resistance over these past couple of trading days like we, like, like we can see here on the 180 day four hour chart so the first one guys is square Ticker symbol SQ would love to profit on this one up to about $78. And if we break that, we could potentially run back up to $81 per share in this stock. So the second one we're going to be talking about today is Facebook, guys. Ticker symbol FB. And Facebook's actually one that we talked about in yesterday's video. And if you guys watched yesterday's video, we were talking about this horizontal channel that we've been seeing Facebook trading between from about $160 up to about $170 to $171. And why is this a horizontal pattern, guys? Horizontal channel? It's very obvious, right? Right? We struggled to get below this support, really validating this as a support level, and we struggled to get above the 170 resistance, validating that as a resistance point, right? And we can notice the chart here, the candlesticks, really have been trading very nicely, very smoothly in between this area, you know, outline 
defined by the two trend lines. But we saw today a huge green day, and I'm going to be doing a market update in a little bit here in the next video that you're going to be seeing today. And this green day really pushed up a bunch of stocks. We saw tech stocks were on fire today. We saw Apple did amazing. Facebook did amazing. Amazon, Netflix, Google, Microsoft, all of these stocks did absolutely amazing. And what did this do to Facebook, guys? It popped it out of that resistance. And now we're going to be looking to see if Facebook's going to be able to hold this older resistance, which is now a new support at about 171 to 172 as a new support to then fill to the next resistance, which is at about $180. So the whole idea here, guys, is to see a day or two of consolidation at about $172, 171 as the new support level. And from there, we would like to see a break, a slow break into the middle of the $170 range where we would like to take a position to profit to the upside here to $180. So let's say we got into Facebook stock tomorrow, right? There would be about a 3%, 4% margin of profit in Facebook stock, really up to 5% here if we did end up holding and successfully getting to that next resistance. So Facebook stock, guys, I would love to see a break into the 173 level before taking a position. And from there, we're going to ride it up. Hopefully, if all goes as well, up to about $180 per share. So the third one I want to talk about today, guys, is mighty, mighty old Tesla stock, ticker symbol TSLA. And Tesla stock, I feel like I've been talking about this one every single video. I really have honestly been talking about it every single video here over the past couple of weeks on my YouTube channel. And yet again, guys, another fantastic day in terms of Tesla stock today. It was up about $6.75, up about 2.4%. And we notice that it is holding this level of support outlined by this trend line. Another level I want to show you guys is that it actually ended up holding successfully over these past couple of trading days the old resistance from back in, what was this, the middle of October in 2018 as a new support level. We can see that here outlined by this trend line that I just drew. And if we hop into the five day, five minute very quickly, we notice that, right? We noticed just that. We held that 270 to 275 level for a couple of days, and now we're seeing a breakout move in Tesla stock. We're seeing the 50 SMA cross above the 180 SMA, which again is a bullish move. So this is a good sign that Tesla is slowly climbing back up and looking to test that $300 mark that we were at a couple of weeks ago in terms of Tesla stock. So right now, guys, what I'm going to be waiting for is to see whether or not tomorrow we're going to end up breaking out of this 50 SMA resistance here, which has been a resistance over the past couple of weeks. And from there, I think we're going to easily get to $300 per share, which would be at the next resistance, roughly at the 180 day SMA. And let's say we break out of that resistance. I think Tesla, honestly, can run back up to 305 maybe to $310, which would put us right at that resistance point from this downwards trending channel, or really this downwards trending pattern that we've been seeing that started off back in the middle of December of 2018 of these lower highs, right? We noticed the high here at about 375 The next high was lower from the previous, and it just kept down trending from there with the next high lower than the previous high. So so let's say we do end up getting to from 290 back up to 305. That's going to be a solid swing trade over these next couple of days. And if we break out of this, let's say the chart, the candlesticks go up to here and we notice a break to the upside, that is going to be a huge breakout move. And we could potentially, guys, who knows, we could potentially get back to 315, 320, 325 in terms of Tesla stock. So keep an eye, guys. Let's say tomorrow we get rejected by the 50 SMA. That's not going to scrap our entire plan here. But if we do end up getting rejected by that 50 SMA, what I'm going to be waiting for on this smaller term basis here on the 5-day, five 5-minute five is for us to just maintain 
This level of support here on the 180 SMA and maybe even the 50 SMA at about 288. But let's say we break that tomorrow if we do see a pullback. The 180 SMA is going to be what I'm really looking for in terms of a support level for us to continue this uptrend. But let's say we end up breaking that level on the 5-day 5-minute and we go to test 275 again. That's going to be a little worrisome for me in terms of a swing trade because at that point we're breaking the uptrend pattern that we've been on here over the past couple of trading days. So that's it for this video guys. Three stocks I'm looking to swing trade in the month of March of 2019. Tesla, we have uh, what was the other one? Oh my God, Facebook. And we also have Square, guys. Square, Facebook, Tesla. Those are the three. Let me know down below in the comment section, what are you guys looking to swing trade, if anything, in this month of March in 2019? I would love to know. Also, drop a, drop a like. Leave a comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell. If you guys want to be notified every time that I do make a video, I'll catch you all in the video later today. Have a great one. Peace out.